Today we're going to learn about the famous artist Michelangelo. Michelangelo de Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni, known simply as Michelangelo, was an Italian Renaissance sculptor, painter, architect, and poet. He was born in 1475 in Caprizi, Italy. When he was still very young, his family returned to Florence, and his mother died when he was only six years old. Michelangelo's father sent him to school, but he was not very interested in learning what was taught there. All he wanted to do was paint and become an artist. In 1488, when he was 13 years old, Michelangelo was apprenticed to an artist, Domenico Ghirlandaio, and in 1490 he was sent to continue his training with the powerful Medici family. Over the next few years, he began producing sculptures and honing his skills. In 1496, Michelangelo moved to Rome. While there, he was commissioned to create a statue of Jesus after he was crucified, laying in the lap of his mother Mary. Michelangelo was 24 years old when he completed this statue, called Pietà, which is regarded as one of the greatest masterpieces of sculpture in the history of the world. Michelangelo returned to Florence and accepted another commission, to create a statue of David from a huge block of marble. He worked on the sculpture for more than two years. When it was finished, the statue of David was more than 17 feet or 5 meters tall and weighed around 6 tons. Today David is Michelangelo's most famous sculpture. In 1505, the newly elected Pope Julius II invited Michelangelo to return to Rome to create his tomb, a project he worked on off and on for the next 40 years. Three years later, he received another commission when the Pope asked him to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo considered himself a sculptor and not a painter and did not want to take the job, but he could not refuse the Pope. The work in the Sistine Chapel took four years to complete and was more than 134 feet or 41 meters in length and 46 feet or 14 meters in width. Michelangelo painted a total of 343 figures depicting stories from the Bible, including the creation of Adam, which is one of the most famous paintings in history. Painting on a ceiling was difficult. Michelangelo had to work on a scaffolding that brought him high enough to reach it. Contrary to popular belief, he did not lie down to work, but stood and painted above his head. After his work in the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo was considered a great artist. He made many statues, paintings, drawings, and frescoes. He wrote hundreds of poems. He was also an architect and designed the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. Michelangelo was so famous that there were two biographies of him published while he was still alive. He died in 1564 at the age of 88, only three weeks before his 89th birthday. Today Michelangelo is considered one of the foremost artists of the High Renaissance, alongside Raphael and Leonardo da Vinci. He had a profound impact on the artists that followed him and continues to be studied today. His works are among the most famous and widely reproduced in history. I hope you enjoyed learning about the famous artist, Michelangelo, and seeing some of his beautiful work.